is Chuck Liddy from Clatchy Newspapers. The young Marines at Ford Operating Base Hassanbad could be on a camping trip to hell. Being in one of the worst regions for trouble in Afghanistan, the Helmand province, they live in conditions that friends and family back home wouldn't consider living in one day, much less the months these men are assigned for. It's not even officially winter, yet temperatures routinely fall below freezing at night, and there's no heat in the tents. At night, when standing post in one of the security towers, they put on layer after layer of clothes, including thermal suits. They still stay cold. The only running water in the camp comes from a three-inch hose that jets out cold water with the power of a fire hydrant. Clothes are washed in buckets, when time permits and the weather cooperates, then hung on 550 cords strung between the tents and dried in the sun. There is no hot water. Others use the cold water from the hose and get clean as fast as possible without succumbing to uncontrollable shivering. Meals come in a box. They come with appetizing names like chicken with salsa, meatloaf, pork loin patty, and cheese tortellini. But as the fighting men before them, they complain about the food daily. The camp is nirvana for thousands of field mice from the surrounding cornfields. The men have adopted several kittens, even outfitting them with flea collars. That benefits the cats and the marines. The cats crave the attention, and they have a healthy appetite for the mice. Most of the young marines shrug off the conditions. They don't spend much time in the base camp anyway. They'd rather be out on patrol chasing the bad guys. And there are lots of those in Helmand, scene of some of Afghanistan's most intense fighting. After all, they are marines. I'm Chuck Liddy of the Raleigh News and Observer, reporting from Clatchy Newspapers.